Good afternoon once again. Um, <clears throat> let's try that one again. Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily uh, inspirational reminder chat. It's episode number 687 and the topic today is the one relationship before all others. You need to know. And if you watched my broadcast yesterday, you may understand what this is about, but if you haven't, this will be a additive reminder and some new stuff. Before I jump into that though, let me choose myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby, in case you haven't figured it out from the title around the broadcast. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and passionate champion for the divine feminine. I help women create balance in love, life, and business, and the passionate champion for the divine feminine is my resin, what's the word? Resin to et, res, I can't do the French. <laughs> it's my, it's why I do what I do. <laughs> It's why I coach women and support women having what they want. I'm also why I do these talks every day, which I started over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. It's abbreviated to MFTM as the prefix, so I have more room for the title. So today we're episode number 687, and this is my Facebook Live I do every day, by the way, at 5 p.m. Pacific time. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, this is where you find me. If you're watching it on replay or on YouTube, I'll give those links at the back end for those. You can watch me on my personal page, which I'll also let you know at the end. Um, and join me live and interact and you know type away so today episode 687 is about the one relationship before all others you need to know um, I saw something yesterday yesterday was about coming home to yourself and it's really the same theme but a different way of talking about it because I really need to make this point clear well let me back up first and talk about the um, the um, I was going to say the trigger? No. The issue? What people do. What people do is they spend a lot of time focused outwardly, meaning that they're driven by, um, gauged by, compared by, judged by those around them. Now, you may be one of those people, maybe not. I don't want to presume anything about you, but if you are watching this and it's resonating for you, keep listening. So, for examples, um, let me use the term we, it's much more inclusive because I've done a lot of this myself, so I'm not going to be superior and say I've, done, I've fixed all this, but I've certainly been there and done that. We are, we are driven by the society we live in to oftentimes achieve a certain status, have certain goals, dress a certain way, do certain things, drive the right car, have the right jewelry, live in the right neighborhoods to be accepted. I know, I think you know what I mean. But that also extends to other areas where basically within the family, we may not speak our truth because we don't make any, we create any ripples, we don't create any waves. We may decide that the right person we'll be in relationship with has to look good to other people, but not to ourselves. We may choose a relationship based upon the appearance versus the content. That's a whole other conversation. I've done that one before, but that's kind of the same framework. Though we're often driven by outward appearances, partly, and also outward acceptance. Because a lot of what we're about as human beings is getting approval. We are driven by, most people, some level of approval, whether it's a paycheck or it's appreciation, compliments, love, sex, any of these things can be sought out as means of approval. It's one of the human conditions. And for many people, it's how we're driven. So I'm going to invite you to ask yourself these questions yourself. Am I somebody who is outwardly referenced? Do I seek other people's approval to feel good about myself? Do I feel that my opinion doesn't matter as much as other people's do? Do I believe that I can make, I can do better in life because I have this right relationship, or that I have the right car, or the right house, or the right neighborhood, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This wiring is permeating all of our society. So if you are agreeing with these questions, if you're saying, yes, these are true for me, then I believe you're simply being, you've become, I don't want to say victim of, but you've become a good student of our current society. I'm going to offer you a different viewpoint. I believe that all this focus out there is what makes us into very codependent, and I use that term intentionally, very codependent and very um, ping pong ball type people. Yes, ping pong ball type people. What I mean by that is by being like a ping pong ball, we get bounced around. You know, ping pong balls are very light. They bounce back and forth very easily. They bounce on the floor, bounce off the walls, etc., etc. Some people, maybe not you, but some people are like that. They basically are going to be bounced around by other people's opinions. So one person says one thing, they agree with them. One person says another thing, they agree with them. They don't stand on their own two feet 
because one thing is they don't trust themselves. So approval and trust are able to be referenced as two. We have a whole litany, a whole list of ways that we act that are based upon being accepted by people out there. It's a trap that we fall into, but we don't know it's a trap because we think it's normal. But I'm letting you know it sure is a trap because what happens is our energetic status, our feelings, our ability to function ourselves is secondary to everything else around us. We're looking out there for approval, looking out there for trust, looking out there for acceptance, looking out there for prizing, for confidence, for approval, all these different things. I did say approval twice, didn't I? But the reality is, all of that is within us already. Now, if you're like me, maybe you were bullied when you were a kid, or maybe you went through abuse, I didn't, but maybe you went through abuse in your family, where you don't necessarily believe that you're worth it or deserving or have trust in your own word. That was one of my challenges as a kid, because I was so pushed around and bullied by other kids, I didn't believe my worth was really sustainable. I thought it was up to other people to prove of me. It made my life challenging as a kid, and a lot of people went through that. And I know people have taken some bad choices because of that. But I've become clear, thankfully, because of the journey I've been on for all these years, is really to learning how to trust my own intuition, my own instincts, my own self, my own tank full of approval to value who I am, independent of anybody else. Now, it doesn't always mean that I'm going to like what I experience out in the world. It also means that I may not necessarily ignore everybody around me either. But I take what I see around me with a, with a, um, with a cup of sugar, but with, with, a, with a filter, with a discernment to decide if I really want to value it myself. This is one of those things that is a skill that a lot of us can learn, which is how is it that we can be totally able to in participate in the world, but also take what we learn and listen to other people through our own desire and choice of listening so we don't go blindly believing other people have the, way, have the right way of doing it. Now, there are people I know out there who I trust, and I'm sure you have people out there you really can trust, but that's different from simply blindly believing everything out there to get love and acceptance yourself. So my point about this, the one relationship I talk about is the one relationship which is the one with yourself. Because the relationship with yourself is the one relationship that you spend your whole life with, as obvious as it sounds. And the reality is for a lot of people, we are so, yes, discernment, exactly, Jason. Thank you, nice to see you, Jason. Um, we spend a lot of time in the world so enmeshed in other people and so codependent, as I mentioned, especially in relationships, romantic ones, that we forget who we are sometimes. We forget what we're about. We forget how we can participate and how we can establish our own boundaries and our own self-support system. I'm very much about this right now because I created, a, I, I finally announced yesterday, because it was brewing for the last few months, a new course that I'm offering that I'll put the link in the comments afterwards, which is called Coming Home to You. Actually, you know, come home to yourself. I'm still playing with the titling because it is very new. It's very, it's very um, ripe, <laughs> so to speak. And because I've been writing about it, and there's the, and I've got different components within there, which are all things about self-love, self-approval, self-care, self-support, self-confidence, uh, self-forgiveness. That's in there too. Self-trust. All these components. Because I realize how many of us have forgotten how to do that. Now, some of us may never have learned how to do that because maybe we were born into a family or a dynamic where that wasn't available. But I'm really clear that the one relationship you must cultivate, the one relationship you must, and I'm saying this intentionally, you must honor and respect is the one with yourself because that's the way you become have a healthy life. That's the way you also create healthy relationships. And it's the way that you also have a healthy experience of what life is really about. Self-love, self-care, self-approval, self-trust first. And then you can take on trust, love, and support from other people. The trick is that when you do that, you no longer in a place where when they take it away, you don't feel like you're empty. Because the other part of the codependence is if they stop loving you, they stop caring about you, they stop approving of you, you feel like you've been stra stranded on a desert island. You, you have no way out. But when you fill up first and you own your own self-confidence, self-love, self-trust, and you really know how to do that, then when other people stop or start approving of you, you just notice it. You don't feel totally swayed by the breeze like you're in, in a gale force wind. You know, oh, okay, it's interesting. You enjoy it, you love it, but you're not dependent upon it. And that's a healthy way to live life. Um, this is a, this is a, it's, it's a big piece of my work in, in all my coaching, but I realized what I needed to do was to create something that would really help, which basically what it is, is this course I've created is really, it's, it's I would say quite an entry level program. It's designed to be accessible by anybody who wants help in this area, because for most people, as I know I was, 
we're, we're actually outside referenced, not supported by inside. And I'm very passionate, very passionate about all of us having autonomy in our lives, having support for ourselves, having the understanding of who we are is deserving and worthy of everything. Yes, we are deserving of everything. And that we can be confident enough, comfort enough and trusting enough that we can enjoy the life, enjoy the road of life, no matter how many bumps and hills and dales that, and valleys there might be. Dales and valleys there might be. The recognition is life is going to happen the way it's going to happen. How you relate to yourself is the biggest question, the biggest choice, the biggest um, place where you can actually enjoy the journey yourself. I talked about again. I talked about this yesterday about coming back to ourselves because coming home to ourselves is where we really live. Because inside is really where our home is. We live inside of this in our bodies, although we transcend energetically and consciously. No one gets that conversation right now. But it's that understanding that we have a place to be where we represent ourselves. We take up our space in the world. And here's a little tip, by the way. When you're watching other things happening in the world, be it news media, social media posts, um, arguments, people being upset, and you are swayed by that, that's a little clue, that's a warning flag, that's a klaxon siren going off saying, don't fall into the trap of buying into their energy. This is a time to step back into yourself and when you have the skills for that, which I teach in my course, when you have the skills to do that, then you become a place where you can witness and observe and then choose where you want to interact versus being pulled in where you have no control. The thing about this stuff is when you get pulled into an argument and you are in the argument without any control, you're at the victim, the mercy, the weaker position of the other person. When you are able to observe that and go, oh, that's interesting, and not be um, trapped in it, then you're free to participate as you want to and walk away when you want to. This is what I call, but talk about being real power. The power is not about controlling other people. The power is about having the choice to participate, to leave, to witness, to be anything you want because you own your space. And that's what I'm delivering. It's what I promise in the coming home, come home to yourself uh, course that I'm offering. So I'm going to put the link in the comments. You can check it out. Actually, not, no, I can't put a link in the comments. I don't have a link. <laughs> I forgot. Yes, I did. This course is so new that I haven't even created a web page for it. So I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a link in the comments. We can click on the contact form so you can reach out to me and ask about it. I'll send you the, the blurb that I've written so far with the pricing and everything. Um, if you want to message me over social media directly, you can do that as well. <laughs> so you can check out the link. There is no link. I don't have a page for it yet. Um, this is the inaugural launch of this program. This course is why it's a much more accessible price. It's going to go up next time because I have a lot more marketing and everything else. But this is. Uh, but even if you don't, sorry, even if you don't have any interest in the course, this teaching, this point, this principle, is a really powerful way to look at your life differently than you may have done to this point. Now, maybe you have done some inner work, which is great. But if you haven't, or if you feel like you've lost touch with it, this is a reminder. This is a nudge in the direction to say. How can you be more in love with who you are as a, as a conscious caring being, not, not narcissistically speaking, but as a conscious caring being so you can honor respect who you are? Because you deserve it. Now the question is what are you going to do with that? I think I'll leave it there. Um, this is a Friday Night Broadcast, so happy Passover for those who celebrate. I'll be celebrating tonight and uh, I'll be talking more about stuff over, over the Easter weekend. Um, this is my daily broadcast. This is my daily teaching. This is my daily inspirational chat and occasionally a reminder of things that I offer. So I'll put the link in the comments for um, a contact form so you can reach out to me and ask me about the program if you want to find out more information. And I'll also um, put a link in there for the self-love practice because frankly, when you love yourself first, that's one of the biggest building blocks to create self-esteem, self-support and self-respect. So I'll put that link in the comments as well. Um, if you, I do appreciate any comments, questions, thoughts you have about this, please put them below and I'll respond when I sign off. If you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube, you can do either place. And speaking of which, I do this on Facebook Live, my personal page at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby if you want to watch me live or interact. The replays go onto my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. And then the replays go onto my, business, onto my YouTube channel, which is uh, Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. I think that's really it. Self-relationship first, other relationship second. It kind of makes it clear. There's also a relationship with spirit, but that's a hard conversation for later, but that's also a relationship with self because I, no, no. I'll say that one for another time, maybe on Sunday. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts about this broadcast, please put them below. If you want to watch my other broadcast, I'll give you the links to the replays. And I think that's about it. Take care of yourself. 
Yes, take care of yourself. Live in that beingness that you are and honor and respect who you are so your life will change for the better. With that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.